Hello, hi, how you doing? It's Jim. It is Thursday. It is time to listen to another piece of music. This is a single song, not an entire album, which is good, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to have the little bits in there as well as the big bits. Um, this is a request from Walt. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Walt, you've been a great supporter of the channel and I appreciate your uh, uh, patronage very, very much indeed. Now, you have asked me to listen to... Uh, a song by Bruce Springsteen. Now, obviously, I know who Bruce Springsteen is. I'm aware of his work. I have got his greatest hits. <laughs> that, that's about as far as my uh, knowledge of Bruce Springsteen goes. Um, I know where he's from. I know he's been around for a long time. I know his band is the E Street Band. Um, my brother loves him. Uh, not in a very sort of a platonic sort of way, of course. Uh, no, he absolutely loves his music. And... Um, I don't know very much of it. Um, I know the greatest hits stuff. This is not. This is uh, a song called Jungle Land, and it is the closing track from the 1975 album Born to Run. I know the song Born to Run. I don't know the album, of course. Um, this is a uh, a download. I bought this off iTunes. I don't own this <laughs> as a physical thing, so I, I, I just... I will probably at some point. I've not listened to a great deal of Bruce Springsteen, so it's kind of an area I think I ought to get into. I understand that his songs are uh, musically very good, but it's more about the the storytelling and the and the lyrical content, a bit like so Bob Dylan that sort of thing. Um, so very much a song from the uh, the uh, sort of the lyrical point of view as opposed to being something truly remarkable from a musical point of view. Now, the two marry up very, very well. So obviously the music has got to be there to support it. And I know the E Street Band is absolutely incredible. Um, and they are one of the most sort of lauded musical entities on the planet, um, in, in, in some circles, I should add. So with that said, um, I'm going to play this now. So... Jungle Land by Bruce Springsteen. It's a 10-minute song, so we're going to be here for a little while. Uh, from 1975, Born to Run. So let's do this. Three, two, one. An interesting voice, isn't he?
very, very, very different saxophone solo from the uh, one I listened to yesterday, I think, uh, Peace Patrol by Von Hertzen Brothers. That's a different style of music, obviously, but... Disappeared to almost nothing, isn't it? Beneath the city, two hearts beat. Soul engines running through a night so tender In a bedroom locked In whispers of song Refusal and then Surrender In the tunnels uptown the rats on dream guns him down. Oh dear. The shots echo down the hallways in the night. No one watches and the ambulance pulls away. Or as the girl shuts out the bedroom light. Outside the streets on fire. Between what's flesh and what's fantasy Man, the poets down here don't write nothing at all They just stand back and let it all be And in the quick of the night They reach for their moment and try to make an honest stand But they wind up wounded Not even dead Tonight in Jungle It's not gonna this was a fade. There. Um there we go. Uh Jungle Land from uh Bruce Springsteen. Um it's uh it absolutely have um my first thoughts about his uh, songwriting is absolutely right. It is the the storytelling, the lyrical content. It's um a very descriptive, poetic um exploration of uh, of of street life in um 1970s uh where is this new jersey uh new york something like that um and it kind of felt almost like a, a song version of carlito's way or something like a, a martin scorsese film it was all sort of gangstery and the poor, poor old guy well, the rat probably not that bad I say poor at all. He's a he's a gangster. So sort of got gunned down and killed at the end. But actually, no one noticed. No one cared. The ambulance drove away. No one was looking. And the girl he was off with um, just turned out the light. Um, what? I mean, I suppose you sort of have this sort of feeling of um, 
at the beginning there's sort of this sense of sort of uh, of, uh, of happiness and and joyfulness and uh, they often a romance and whatnot and then the um, life catches up with them and it sort of just slips back down into uh, into into despair and um, and and stuff. Well, I mean, it's really pretty cool. I do. I really don't know enough about British Springsteen or his music to um, to make comment on on <laughs> what I've heard. Other than it sounds like Born to Run. It sounds like it had the same uh, qualities in the recording. And it must have. It's from the same album. It very much sounded like that to me. And um, um, it's interesting because this would have been. Right around the time when I think the, you know, the golden era of, sort of progressive rock, so this is a completely different strand of music that was uh, coming out of America at the time. Um, then of course, there's another one as well, which was very important, wasn't it? So, like the funk and disco, um, but this was quite removed from obviously from that, but also very removed from the sort of the progressive rock thing. So, I don't really know how you'd categorise this is this just sort of it's not Americana that's for sure but it kind of has a lot of the um, of the sensibilities and the uh, the storytelling narrative that you might have in some sort of Americana music but the music itself isn't I don't know quite what this is it's, it is rock it is very much rock but um, <laughs> it's, it's a difficult one to categorise um, very cool, very interesting. I ought to really invest some time and listen to Bruce Springsteen. He is one of the biggest, greatest, most sort of known and listened to artists on the planet, isn't he? Uh, uh, I owe it to myself to, <laughs> to sort of get myself, make myself familiar with his music. Um, Walt, thank you very, very much indeed. Um, you've piqued my interest. Is this the best album to start off with? Probably is, isn't it? I might as well. I might go try and get hold of this and, uh, and see where we go from there. Right. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you all on the next video whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim. Over and out. Yeah.